Hi, do you hope everyone? My name is Mr. Fruit, and welcome to Dice Folk, a brand new creature collecting roguelike game I wanted to share with you all. It's probably going on the Uncut channel or something. You guys know me, I love roguelikes. If you don't, I'm so sorry. I know some people are sort of like, it's uh, roguelikes are a little saturated in the market. Ah, bro, I'm like, bring them on. More roguelikes? Bet. And this is a creature collecting one. And you know me, I like Pokemon. So before we hop into it, let me just tantalize your gaming palette, especially if you're a creature collector, okay? So here are the creatures. I haven't discovered many. I have like two, three hours. I've done three runs. I've actually won two of them. And I'll get to that in a second. But let's look at somebody like... Barmes. It's a cute little animation, cute little noise. But get this. I discovered this in one of my runs. I click this. Oh, what do we have here? I don't remember what they call it, but it's essentially a shiny. You can see normal version, shiny version. And the lion art even has this like little radiant effect going on. I've also found one other one that color palette wise is a little more noticeable. So we have Odoragon. I'm sure, I don't know, who knows if that's how you pronounce it. But if we look at a shiny, oh yeah. And the best part too is they don't just look cool. It'll actually upgrade their ability. So it's even stronger if you end up finding them. Now granted again, I've done three runs. I've only found two of them. One of them I only found because I found like a random item that was essentially like, if you choose this, the next chimera you find will be, you know, a shiny. So seem relatively rare. But we'll hop into it. There are four classes currently. You start out with the warrior talisman. Then if you win enough, you'll unlock the storm talisman. And if you win a run with a storm talisman, you unlock the wrath talisman. If you win a run with the wrath talisman, you unlock the pain talisman. And that's all four currently. You'll see here the shrine chimeras. For instance, I've yet to do a run with pain talisman. I just unlocked him. So the first row of chimeras I have unlocked these will be unlocked as I level up the character through runs. As I just play passively, you get XP. So I've unlocked a couple for Warrior, a couple for Storm, a couple for Wrath. Now, the Storm and Talisman, or Storm Talisman and Wrath Talisman, I've actually won runs with. And you'll see don't, uh, denoted by this little icon, the door emblem. So I've reached Salem's door. So when I beat the run, it showed me a door. There's four slots. So if you beat the game with every class something happens but i know one for sure is this trial mode it says open salem's door to unlock trial mode what does that mean i don't really know now we just unlocked the pain talisman so i think we'll give it a go the warrior talisman is the most straightforward but we'll get to that and did i mention it's also like a deck building but more like a Dice building roguelike? Oh, it's sick. Anyway, we're going to get into it. I originally wasn't sure, booted it up, and I'm addicted. Really, it's really all there is to it. And it's pretty simple to grasp, and I'll, I'll show you guys here. So it's a roguelike. You start in the overworld, you have your paths, and there's three worlds you got to get through. You beat the third world, you beat the game, right? Or you beat a run. In this overworld, you can go wherever you want or at least whatever is available to you. And as you unlock paths, you'll eventually find the boss. You don't have to fight the boss immediately. You can fight him whenever. But these little fellas you'll see on the map, the Chimera Shrines, sometimes they won't always show you how to get there. But these are a big deal because we go to the Chimera Shrine and one of these statues, it says a Chimera broke free from the stone. And look at that little cutie, the Kekutar or something. I'm sure I'll butcher them. The animations are so cool though. The Chimeras all have life. It's real fun. But I'll walk through what exactly this means in a second. Because as we find the other shrines, we'll learn what these other Chimeras are. So right now I could recruit this Chimera to the team. You'll see over here, this is my team. We have three Chimeras. These are just like starter Chimeras for each class. But I could recruit one. You can only have three. So if I were to replace it, he's just gone forever. But if I were to take this, I'll never find out what these were and I cannot recruit them. 
However, if I visit the shrines, I'll get like some golden stuff instead. But sometimes, especially if you're going for a certain build or synergy, you might want to wait and see which Chimera you can get. And since I haven't played this class, I don't really know what we're doing. I'm going to hold off. But I just wanted to show you that's how you get some Chimera, you know, collect Chimera. We're just going to go ahead and hop into a battle to start, a battle to boot, so you guys can just get an understanding of what's going on here. So the battle starts. You can have up to three, um, and the enemy will have up to three, never more, but sometimes less. Then you roll your dice, and so does the enemy. That's the important part to note. So each class comes with different dice, but most of them generally have the same die faces to begin with. Uh, the left dice is usually blank for the most part, uh, allowing you to change a lot of the faces, but they don't do a whole bunch. The second one is usually the positioning dice. I don't know if that's how you would say it, but I'll show what that means in a second. And this one is usually just the offensive dice. So you can see we rolled an attack. We rolled a movement and this one's idle, so it doesn't do anything. Now, interestingly enough, I haven't seen this before, so I guess this is a hallmark of this class. It says here that this dice can be used two times per turn. That is very interesting. We'll have to figure out how we use that. But then the uh, the enemy also rolls a dice. And typically it's one dice per bow. So the Boglin um, and the Mink Pocket both have theirs. And usually if there's two, if there's only one, it's usually some sort of an attack dice with some other things mixed in. If there's two, it's usually like a movement sort of deal and offensive as well. And if you hover here, you'll see all the die faces they could have rolled or could roll in future turns, but it'll also tell you exactly what it does. Then if you hover over the Chimera, it'll tell you their effects. So the Boglin, basic Chimera, you only find them in this first world. No effect. Easy. So the dude's just got 16 health, and if he attacks, he's going to do four damage. Pretty simple. And you'll notice this crown here. He's the leader. Whoever is in the lead, I guess, of the party is considered the leader. And usually all actions happen between leaders. Then you have the Mink Pocket in the back. Now he does have an ability. When Mink Pocket attacks, he's going to steal one gold from me. We don't like that. But he's got 15 health and a little less damage. He'll be doing three. Now I have my three Chimera. And they'll all have a different uh, ability because, again, these little, they look like little puppets almost. All the classes essentially start with these. They're just like a different color scheme or theme. But they're all like these little sack boys. That sounds weird. But they all have different abilities. And so for this build, because we're the pain talisman, apparently the whole idea is we're going to inflict damage upon ourselves, but then we're also going to use that to our own advantage, I believe. So Deloid... A, his ability is hurt, inflicts two bleed on a random opponent. This one, hurt, inflicts two bleed on a random opponent, and this one as well. So they all have, inflicts two bleed on a random opponent. Now, the, the, the way combat works is you essentially have to, the only way you can end the turn and move to the next phase is if all enemy dice are played, if they can be played. You don't have to play all your dice, but you do have to play. But here's the interesting thing. You play for the opponent. So you decide when they make their move and how they make their move. Sometimes the dice they roll are more straightforward, where it's just like you attack this person, so you don't have that much control, but you can dictate when they go during a fight. And so sometimes you can kill them before they you even need to use their dice. Or sometimes you want to use their dice first because you have an ability that works with it. But that is essentially the gist of it. You have these chimeras, you roll dice, and then you use your chimera in accordance to whatever dice you have to attack the enemy. And then a lot of the nitty gritty stuff comes down to then the abilities of chimera and equipment you put on yours, which I'll show soon. I'm gonna turn down the battle speed so you guys can get an understanding of what's going on here. But so we rolled reckless attack. So this guy's our highest attack guy, so it's good he's in the front. He'll attack for six damage, as you can see, it hovers the, the, the health bar, show you how much damage he's going to do. But Reckless Attack actually incapacitates our leader, which means for the rest of the turn, they cannot attack, which could be a problem, could be not. 
Because apparently if I'm able to use this two times per turn, what I imagine I can do is reckless attack for six damage. Now I'm incapacitated, so I won't be able to attack. But what I can do is use another dice, which will allow us, it'll show you here, rotate to the left. So now this Deloid is our new leader. So he'll be taking the actions for us. He gets to use the ranged attack, which allows us to choose anybody to hit with our own attack. And we're probably just going to hit Boglin, although we could start to hit Mink Pocket so that when Mink Pocket gets to the front, he won't be able to steal as much gold from us. However, we actually have no gold. If we kill Boglin, we'll get gold, but not that important. So now I'm going to rotate again because this is our tankiest. So we'll just have him in the front. Now, I do have idle. If I use this, it did actually re-roll. So that's cool. I like this idea of being able to roll dice twice. We haven't had that before. So I'm going to go ahead and guard one. I get to choose anybody to guard. I'm just going to guard our friend here, which means the next instance of damage he receives from an attack, he negates. So if this fella attacks our Deloid C, the guard is gone. The attack is null and void. And then they have one dice left, random rotation, but because there's only one of them, they're obviously going to swap in the mink pocket. Now that the, the enemy dice is used, it doesn't matter how much dice we used, we get to end the turn. We reroll the dice, including the opponent. And that's the gist. You go until you defeat all the Chimera or all your Chimera are knocked out. Important to note, if a Chimera does fall in combat, they won't res next combat or they don't heal in between combats. You do all of that, all of that through like nodes you find in the roguelike map. So now that we're in the lead, we apparently got trip. The leader lightly hurts itself. So normally, that wouldn't be great. However, because we have hurt, inflicts two bleed on a random opponent, we could actually use this to our advantage. So we're going to hurt ourselves for two damage. But because we hurt ourselves, we now inflict Mink Pocket with two bleed. Bleed is a debuff. There's lots of different debuffs. Not that many. But bleed, every time they rotate, they take damage equal to the bleed value. So if I were to rotate them right now, Mink Pocket would take two damage because he rotated and he has two bleed. We got a Reckless Attack with this draw, but I'm going to go ahead and use this Idle to see what we reroll. And it ends up being a Guard 1, which isn't bad. We get to attack anybody with Deloid. The only problem is that he's our weakest attacker and we have no way to rotate out. So he's just going to be doing the attacking for us this turn. I'm going to hit the Mink Pocket for four because once we kill the Boglin, we actually get like three gold. And then if we then try to kill the Mink Pocket, he could steal that gold. So we're going to try for that. I'm going to trip again. So it's interesting because that's four damage, which is a good bit at this point. Um, but again, these are the starter Chimera and ideally you just eventually phase all of them out. It just gives you a, a basic team that, you know, it's, it's always the same that you start with. So we'll reckless attack, which incapacitates us, but that's okay. We have no other moves to make. We're going to have him guard. This mink pocket actually will not attack. We're going to rotate. They're both going to take bleed damage, but then I'm going to have Boglin attack this Deloid. I wanted him to attack. Um, just because, again, I was worried he was going to steal gold, but I keep forgetting I don't have gold yet. I'm just... I'm in the mindset that we have gold, which isn't bad, per se. So, they rolled a Clash attack, which is interesting. A Clash attack, you attack the leader, but the leader attacks back. I've never seen an ally dice be able to have Clash attack. It always seems like an enemy dice. But so you'll see here, they'll attack my Deloid, but then my Deloid will attack back and actually knock them out. We could rotate them, which is probably what I'm going to do, so that they both take a little bit of bleed damage. Then I'm going to ranged attack to just hit Mink Pocket. I don't want to Reckless yet, because otherwise I wouldn't be able to make another move. And we'll just Reckless attack for the knockout. And that is five gold total. Victory! And that was a combat. That's as basic as it gets. And it's all uphill from here. It's great. I love it. You guys will see. Hopefully you already see, sort of see the, the vision here. But 
we'll keep going. So these are random nodes, not fights, that usually give you some sort of a buff. The abandoned tent allows you to get another equipment slot, which I'll talk about briefly. So you'll see the Chimera on the left, and then they have a square. That's their equipment slot. We currently don't have any equipment, but when you have equipment, you attach it, and it does things you would expect, like plus one attack, or heal three HP at the start of a battle, something like that. We don't have any of that yet. And ideally, we want to save this for better Chimera, not our starters. Not always, though, and sometimes you don't have a choice. You just got to do whatever. Bonfire allows you to either, like, heal or raise stats a little bit. A chest, however, is just treasure. And in this case, it's equipment. On spawn, gain 10 gold. On turn end, lose 1 gold. So, theoretically, as long as I win a battle within 10 turns, this just gives us money. So, that's a pretty easy equip for me. Now, equipment can be freely moved, you know, reserved, discarded, whatever. There are specific equipment that will tell you once equipped, you cannot unequip, but that was not one of them. There is a grave here. I just unlocked this, so I don't actually know what this node does yet. So maybe it's a waste, but we'll find out. Oh, we got another equipment. Battle end, if alive, small chance of increasing a random stat forever. This would be great on um, one of our later chimeras. It's a small chance, but we'll throw it on in case one of these guys procs it. And then we'll just head into another battle. Again, I'll probably wait to see all the, sh the shrines before I choose a, a chimera, unless like this next one uh, really speaks to me or something, but I'd rather, I haven't played this class, so I don't really know what chimeras are available because none of them, like they're all specific to the talisman you're using. So I won't really find many of these in my other runs. This rolled a range attack, which is really good because you'll see this dice has three idols, which means we don't do anything. But we ended up rolling an attack, which is great. An attack here. So there's a chance we do a lot of attacking. Now this will not go. Turn start grants one strength to a random ally, including the self, for the rest of the turn. So solely buffs allies. Whereas Muhammad gains three strength for the rest of the turn. I actually just won my last run with this guy. Oh, he's real strong. So we have to be careful. So this is an instance where we probably want them to attack first, and I'll show why. So we'll do a random rotation so that Muhammad comes into the lead because Naga has five attack. Now I'm going to force Muhammad to attack while he has three. So we get hit for three. Ah! But we took damage, so bleed goes back. And now we are free to attack him because... I didn't want to attack first because we would have proc'd his ability. And before we knew it, you know, maybe he had 9, 12 attack and we have to attack with him. So that's why you always want to plan out some stuff. Read what the other Chimera do. Make sure you know what you're doing. Or try. Pretend. You know, one of those. So I'm going to range attack, which also say anybody, but we want to hit Muhammad here. We want to get rid of him. We ended up hurting or er, tripping, so it's not the best, but we will range attack again. Reroll. Okay, so lots of tripping. I can rotate, but I'm not. We don't really need to. I mean, at best, this could reroll to an attack or just another rotation. We could hurt ourselves, but it's unnecessary damage for the bleed, I believe. So I'm actually just going to end turn, even though we technically have like four rolls left. I just don't really see the point because instead, like this, I'll just go ahead and range attack, knock out Muhammad. Lanaga will come up. And now we'll do the rest here. So they're guaranteed to hit us with a clash attack. So we either try and kill them before that's going to happen. Or we might just win the battle. Depends. Okay, so we got another attack. So we will kill Lanago. But this is, again, ordering matters. So if I were to click reckless attack right now, like I mentioned before, I'll incapacitate myself. And then when they clash attack, I actually won't be able to counterattack. So instead, I want to clash attack first. I'm not incapacitated. Then I reckless attack. We get the knockout. Ordering. Yeah, that's right. Look at me. Oh, and would you leave that? The bean actually proc. I don't think I've ever actually had it proc. So he gained one intelligence. Not all chimeras have intelligence, but as you'll read here, 
The intelligence stat is the blinking value found in the Chimera's ability. Determines how powerful the ability is. So now our uh, our leader, Chimera, the Deloid A, inflicts three bleed on a random opponent, whereas everyone else is two. And again, like they said, the blinking number directly correlates to our intelligence. And we just got plus one because of Quantic Beans. So that's pretty cool. We get to see another Chimera. And survey says, it's not shiny, but I hope it is every time. All right, so we have Bi Biamphus. I'm sure I butchered that. Attack once per turn. So this is when this Chimera attacks. If the target is an ally, it deals poison damage equal to its strength to a random enemy. Huh. Okay, interesting. So I see what's going on here. The reason we have ranged attacks, because in all my other runs, we've like never had them. They're really strong because you can just choose to hit whoever. But it would appear because we are the Pain Talisman, we will, we will come to some interactions where we want to use those ranged attacks to hit our own guys. Because, again, in this case, if we were to do that, and he only has three attacks, so it's not terrible, but we deal poison damage equal to our strength to a random enemy. So we're trading health, or damage, rather. So that's interesting. I feel like there'd be some more cool interactions depending on equipment we had. But if you also think about it, you know, we hit one of these, that also procs their ability to inflict bleed on a random opponent. Again, Kakutar, when uh, they get hit, they grant Thorn to the ally leader. In this case, too, they have two intelligence. And Thorn is just after being attacked, an affected Chimera deals to its attacker an amount of damage equal to Thorn value. Pretty simple, especially if you play card games and stuff. So I'm not, again, I don't know what else we could get. So I'm not entirely sold. However, this does seem intriguing. Enough that I might just take it. This next shrine would give us gold. Uh, so like you're sort of an, if you want to take one early, you're not completely boned because otherwise I take one, we choose one, but now these shrines are gone and I don't get a little bit of that extra healing uh, and, and gold you would get from a shrine if you've already chosen one. So just for the sake of showing it, you know what? We'll grab the Amphis. I'm tempted. This guy's already kind of hurt. We did just upgrade him, though. This guy's given us gold. So we'll replace Deloitte C, who's supposed to be our tankiest. Yeah, it's shot right. So Bianfus takes his place. This shrine will now turn into a little bit of treasure. And here is where the dice building comes in. You find the dice smith. And for a certain amount of gold, he'll let you change the faces on your die. Or in later worlds, you can actually purchase additional dice. So these are all consumable items that go up here. So inflict incapacity on the opposing leader. Leader gains one int forever. Forever, wait, that's kind of crazy. Or a small die that lasts only for one battle. Usually use these for like boss battles. But then you have the die faces. So this one, mana. Target an ally, it gains one mana for the rest of the battle. We don't have any Chimera that use mana. We'll get to that if we find one. We reroll and we get two of them. Target an unused die, it is rerolled. Pretty simple. Or reroll all, and we get three of them, rerolls all unused dice. These aren't the craziest. Dare I say I was hoping for something a little bit better. Um, But the fact that we get three of these is definitely tempting, but sometimes we don't want to roll all of them. Sometimes you want to sequence differently. With that said, oh, actually, that makes sense because I forgot you can target enemy die with the reroll as well. So maybe they rolled something and you want to try and get rid of it. So, you know what, with that in mind, we're going to throw probably both of them on the die that has a lot of missing faces. I'm going to, I'm going to hold on to the rest of my gold because there are other places we can find that we could spend our money on. I don't want to spend all of it yet. We found an elite battle, which is a little early for us. And we have no... Ah, uh, we have some equipment, but it's not life-changing. I'm going to put the beans on Biamphus. Because Biamphus, we essentially have one chance each world. Sort of. Again, I'll get to that. To get a Chimera. 
So essentially, more than likely, Bionfus is staying with us for the entire run. So I'll try and upgrade his stats because I know we are more likely to keep him on the team. Now, we could exchange Bionfus to be the leader. And he could start out in the lead, start attacking, hitting some other guys. And we start all that synergy. Or we can just start with the Lloyd. This is an elite battle. I think we'll need our best. Uh, I'm going to start with Bionfus. Uh, are we ready yet? I don't really know, but eh, Gamba. I think we'll be fine. So, three off the rip. Plus, uh, this Armantis appears to have more health than usual. So, Armantis, no more opponent dice, aka me. If I use all my dice, he gets a free attack and he'll hit my leader. A turn end for Nitsa right here will heal a random ally for 2 HP. And Chisley here, when they attack, the attack team randomly rotates, aka us. So that can sort of mess with us. Armantis, obviously probably the biggest threat here. We'll try and get rid of him, but, you know, in this case, we're not going to be able to stop it. Um, they will rotate out. So because I have Biamphus and we rolled a ranged attack, let's just show off how this works. So Biamphus is going to attack Deloid. And when I do that, we inflict five poison and two bleed. Two bleed because of their ability. And what I didn't realize is he deals poison based off the person you targeted. So because Deloid B has five attack, I thought it would be Biamphus. Deloid gave them five poison. At the end of the turn, they take damage equivalent to how many poison stacks they have. That's actually pretty good. In fact, I might just do that again, frankly. We could hit Deloid A for six, and he does three bleed. He's already a little weak, but Gamba. And hopefully we hit our Mantis. We did. And I'm stupid because it clearly says attack once per turn. So I'm not able to do that again. That is my bad. Oops. We're going to swap. And we have a free rotation. I'm probably not going to use it. We're going to force our Mantis to attack the Lloyd. Actually, we might switch back to, to Biomphis here. And then they're forced to rotate. We got more bleed though. Because of the bleed, they'll also start taking some damage. And then we're gonna rotate back so Biamphis is in the lead and has the best chance to attack for us next turn. Nice poison damage, stupid. So I have the ranged attack and I can do this again. So we're gonna hit Deloid B for three damage and in exchange, five poison and two bleed on somebody. We hit the poison on our Mantis, which is what we like. There's two ways to hurt ourselves, but no ways to rotate ourselves. They have random, so it's more than likely an attack. They either attack or turn in a random direction, so not guaranteed. If Chisley actually attacks, it'd be good because then we'll get to rotate our team. So, of course, you rotated. That's okay. Uh, they're going to rotate again randomly. I could use Trip to try and re-roll these. Do I want to do that? Unsure. It's only one damage. Let's try. We did get Rotate. So we get Deloid A in the front here. Who will Trip. Apply three bleed to somebody. Armantis, we like that. We actually can guard... Preventing the next uh, damage. Because if we use all of our dice, if I were to attack here, our Mantis will attack back. So I'm actually just not even going to use the guard because it'll immediately get used. Rather, uh, just reckless attack. They'll randomly rotate. He gets damaged by all that stuff. The poison's going to start popping off here. Slow but steady. Nice. Now we did get a reroll, target an unused die, which again could be one of theirs. Let's see if Chisley ends up attacking. No. However, that's fine because our bleed 
is starting to do a lot of damage. Starting to pop off for us. So we're going to rotate freely to Biamphus. We can range to attack anybody. We're going to hit our own guy again. Is it overkill? Yes, because unfortunately the poison hit for Nitsa. We are going to re-roll this in hopes that we get an attack. And we did. The poison is going to kill you. We don't care that much about you. I mean that the best way possible. Instead, we're going to rotate since he has six attack. We're going to hit our Mantis. You guys are going to rotate. Lots of bleed. Not going to use my last dice. We're going to end the turn. And uh, almost all of them died to the debuffs. Our Mantis will die if he has to rotate. So it's just Chisley. And just like that, our Mantis is forced to rotate. So we're going to do that. Our Mantis dies. And Chisley is the last one standing. We're going to use our idol just to reroll. And we get a reroll here. So we do get a reckless attack. And then I'm going to hope for a rotate. Because now, yep, he's unable to attack again. I could reckless attack as well. I am incapacitated. But we will... Oh, yeah. And see, so see, that was ordering. I was hoping we got a, uh, a rotation, but that didn't happen. But actually, Chisley will rotate us. So I don't get a, a fight back, but we go to the person who hasn't attacked yet. Which is the best case. We hit them. Easy peasy. Now we just range attack. Clear. Yes. Now, because it was an elite battle, I believe you always get some sort of die face and an item. So here we have the Wyvern Buster, uh, which gives you a passive. Damage dealt when attacking bosses is increased by 50%. Pretty good. We'll just take that. Throw it on you just because you don't have any equipment currently. And then we get two free rotations. Free rotations is the best rotation because you get to choose... Sometimes it's either left or right or random. So yes, being able to choose is definitely the go-to. We're going to change the idle face on this one. And then I don't necessarily want to get rid of the reckless attack. So I'll just get rid of one of the uh, right rotations. The beans didn't pop off for us, unfortunate. The reason I was waiting to go to the broodberries is for this reason. Oh, never mind. Sometimes I believe it can heal. But this one grants plus one strength to the chimera of your choice permanently. Now, again, it's a little unfortunate because I don't know how long we're going to hold on to these people. And actually, it's unfortunate because I don't want to give Biamphus more attack because Biamphus will be hitting our own team a good amount of the time. So we don't want to make them stronger. But the rest of these, one, they're practically dead. And two, again, I'm not married to them. But we don't have the option of coming back. We have to use it. But we did find a black market where we might be able to spend some gold. So we can get uh, a token that lets us inflict sleep. Heal 50% uh, on a chimera. And then there's equipment. And all these are cursed. Like I said... There's certain equipment that once equipped cannot be unequipped. It's cursed equipment. But usually they have a bigger ability sometimes. In this case, grants plus three thorns to a random ally, including self, upon activation. Now, I don't know what that is. I don't know what activation is. I've never actually seen that. Maybe you're able to actively activate it. This one passively you get 13 extra HP. But, battle end, lose one gold up to three times. So you're a little tankier, but you're just going to lose some gold. And then, you have a passive of plus four max HP and plus two intelligence. And that's it. That's no real drawback or anything. Now, that's not good for Biamphus because he doesn't use intelligence, but somebody like this, 
you know, now you're inflicting five bleed when you get hit. Or future Chimera, if they need intelligence, we'd want to use something like this. I think that's actually the most tempting, so I'm actually just going to grab it. Even though it's not a bad idea to sit on gold until you've discovered everything and then decide to act. I'm going to go to the abandoned tent, though. And like I said, you get to choose an additional equipment slot. So I'm going to give it to Biamphus. And we are not going to give anybody the Sun Tears because there's still a good chance we're going to get rid of these guys. And we won't be able to get that back. So we're going to hold. I don't want to use our heal yet. Because we still haven't fought the boss. Um, however, I, I see the Gamba of this class because, like, I've never been this low in World 1. But you want to activate some cool stuff? You got to hit yourself. Or take damage from the enemy. And that's not always so easy. So I could Reckless Attack for a little bit. We're looking for... Let's see. We're looking for a ranged attack, which we did not get. We got a ranged attack here, though. So we're going to hit here. He's almost dead. But we apply 3 bleed and 7 poison, which is big. I'm going to Clash so that I'm not incapacitated yet. So that then I can Reckless. And then the poison will take care of them. And Chisley takes a little bit of damage from Bleed. He's going to Clash attack us. So we're going to take some damage unless we can kill him before. And I do not believe that's going to happen. I don't really want to hit any more of my teammates. But you see, the problem is, like, we can't rotate out, and I'm only doing three damage, which isn't much. So, you know, taking one for the team, we're going to hit Deloid. And that's about all we get to do. We're going to Clash. I'm going to Reckless. Uh, because he rotates us. And then we get a free rotation, but it doesn't matter. Poison will kill. And we're Gucci. Now, because of this equipment, we're also getting a lot more gold than we would normally have. Might be able to buy more stuff than I'd expect. So now we would go to what would be the third shrine to figure out the last chimera of this world. But since we've taken one, we now get a little bit of gold. And in this case, some cool berries. This one lightly heals the chimera of my choice. And this one revives and or lightly heals the chimera of my choice. So we need to lightly heal a little bit of everybody. I think we're going to heal Deloid A and by Amphibus. Deloid B is probably moving on. Sorry, buddy. But that do be how it be. I'm surprised. See, there's there's an ability to find like a scroll master. I forget exactly what their name is. But you can actually buy a Chimera from them. I have a feeling this is just going to be the boss after this, but we'll try. I do have a heal token. I need to remember that. Go back to Chisley Muhammad. You guys remember Muhammad when he gets hit, grants more attack that turn, and Chisley will rotate us. So, <laughs> thanks for getting healed, Deloid, because I'm just going to hit you again. And hopefully hit Muhammad with the poison. Nasi, we do not want to hurt ourselves. We could clash and we'd rotate, which we probably, if we could rotate to Deloitte A, that'd be great. I'm actually going to guard Deloitte A so we could hit him with Biamphus again if we need to. Clash attack, so he does end up hitting us, which means we rotate. He actually gets a reckless attack in. And then we get a free rotation, so I'm going to rotate back into Biamphus. Not going to do anything else. They will... Oh, I didn't realize... Okay, well, they could attack us again. Hopefully not. Okay. So they rotate, which is best case, because Bleed will now kill him. And Poison, by the end of this next turn, should do the trick. They did get a Clash attack, which is unfortunate. However, we don't really have to worry about that. Because... If I rotate to Deloid A, 
We'll clash attack. We have a guard, so we don't take damage. And a range attack Muhammad. He's gonna rotate and he'll die to bleed. That's it. But we are a little low on health. And we don't have any items that heal or anything. I would have expected us to find something. Okay, so it's more it branches more. Thought that would be the boss. We do be low on health. I'm kind of gambling the bonfire. That's why I haven't gone yet. I'm trying to wait until we're right before the boss. Especially in case we get... Because... You can, you can upgrade stats, which is fun, at random. You know, like maybe one extra HP and attack. You can also, like, practically fully heal. I don't know if it actually lets you res. Look at Mike. We're gonna battle again. Yo, well, let's see. Let's see if we can manage. Okay, there's only one. I've never fought this guy though, so it's Solmet. When they attack, they lose one strength for the rest of the battle. Ah, and they start with eight. Well, you say because there's only one of them, he only has one dice, and there's actually two of the faces that don't let him attack, and this is one of them. Now he's going to entangle us, which means the next movement we try, we fail, and it doesn't leave until we try to move. So we'll be stuck in the lead, but that is. Actually, not okay. We're gonna. I would prefer to rotate to Deloitte A with their seven attack, which we can now do. So, hit. We get a reroll. We can either trip ourselves or I'm gonna reroll this. And we still ended up getting tripped. But I get guard. I'll guard myself. Entangle our. Entangle us. And now revive him because next attack. Oh, he actually hit idle again. It's really lucky. Range attack and any kind of attack. Yeah, does it. See, not punished. Now we get to see. Uh, again, I'm hoping for the scroll master, whatever their name is. Everybody says. I don't. Okay, I don't know what this is. Mausoleum. Collect all your loot and equipment. Ray gun. <coughs> Activation deals an amount of damage equal to the item holder's strength to the opposing leader. Really? Okay. And... Oh. Well, isn't... Okay, maybe that's how you do it. So we also got a, a die face activation. We can target an ally, giving them plus one activation, which allows them to activate equipment effects when gained. Okay, guess we'll do that, right? Unfortunately, we can't replace trip faces. What do we want to reroll here? We kind of want to keep our attack dice. Attack dice. And we mainly want rotation to be rotate, but we're able to reroll, so we can maybe be a little greedier if we get reroll. Maybe we get rid of the reckless attack here. I'm going to do that. And then we're going to get the ray gun. And for now, I'm going to put the ray gun on Deloid A. Because he has the most strength. And here we go. Okay, so we did find the scroll master. Nice. So they offer us a random chimera to buy. It's random. And from what I can tell, this is the only time you can get chimera that aren't related to your talisman. Or pain talisman. So Odoragon, I don't think, would normally show up. And so because of that... He's not really going to have a lot of synergy with any hurt, for instance. So in this case, Odoragon, when you rotate, anybody, you uh, get a 50% chance to inflict two burn on a random opponent. Now, I'm tempted simply just because it's just sort of better than Deloid B. He doesn't get the hurt bonus, but mainly since Deloid is injured... However, we could use them as sacrifices for the boss. We don't have to buy Odoragon. So I'll sit and think on it. I think our only next battle is indeed the boss. So this is when I go back. I have all my gold. Now I want to see... Okay, what do I want to buy? I want to make sure I have time for. Leader gaining one intelligence forever. I like that for future... Future us. Reroll all three of them. Unfortunately, yeah, like these die face, I would typically like to buy more, but 
know, we don't use any mana, so we'd be able to throw. We could get this dice for this next boss, but I'm going to hold. We might actually go back and buy more equipment. Or another heal. Do that. And then... Maybe just giving somebody extra HP. Sure. We not we might not put that on anybody right now. But that's okay. Alright. I feel like the stores weren't as great as they could have been, if I'm being honest with you. But whatever. We're gonna go to the bonfire. So we get a revive. Okay, so it does revive and heal. Or slightly increase the random stat of every chimera. Or add an equipment slot. Usually, if you're able to greed for these, these are the best. However, I'm thinking, especially with the builds and this character, we're going to be probably healing all the time. So it's not quite a full heal. But it puts us uh, or positions us much better for this boss fight. And we're fighting good old Strizzly. Now, in a boss fight, you only have to defeat the boss. If you do, the battle's over. You can kill the other ones, though, and you'll get gold, because you won't get gold if you kill Strizzly and the battle ends. So it's pretty minor. I'm typically not too worried about it. But they have three dice, and this one specifically is the boss dice. Uh, usually, most faces aren't good for us. But in this case, if boss is not in the lead, its teams rotates. Otherwise, it idles. And since they are in the lead, we can make him idle if we wanted to. We'll have a random rotation and a random chance to rotate or attack. One or the other. But we want to try... The, the unfortunate part about Biamphus here is we can't target who we poison. I wish we could, because I would 100% target Strizzly. Um, and further that, though, we just don't even have a ranged attack. We're going to start... By guarding the Lloyd A. And we get another guard. So we'll guard by Amphis. We get a rotate to Deloid B. Which I'm probably going to have to do because... We got Reckless Attack. There's a world where we rotate here. Use a Reckless Attack. Then get Ranged Attack and can rotate back. Uh, I'm going to play for that out. Okay, so far it's working. We're going to Reckless Attack. It's just that easy. Exactly how I thought it would go. <laughs> so now we range attack the Void. Guard will prevent the damage. But we still... What is in Lenago? What the fudge? Not exactly huge. So we're going to see if he ends up rotating. They do. Another random rotation. And another rotation. So unfortunately, if we'd actually put on a bleed, that would have been huge. Somebody would have taken six damage from all that rotation, but... C'est la vie. Wow, that is so lucky. Okay. One out of six chance. One out of six. One out of six. To get idle on all those. So that's pretty insane. Uh, I'm just going to take it while we can. I'm, I'm not going to guard Deloitte here because we want the bleed to activate. Hopefully we poison Strizzly. We did not, but we poison. Okay, Lenago is very dead. At least Strizzly will get hurt from some rotation, but they all idled anyway. So now I could guard somebody. Now we'll guard Deloitte, I guess. We get to re-roll something. Maybe we try and re-roll for an activation. Okay, that didn't hurt. Or, that didn't work. So we get big three damage here. And that's the turn. We don't really have a pop-off. It's strange. We're much slow. Usually most of the builds I've had, it's been much more trying to zerg somebody down. Obviously not the case. So the boss is going to clash attack us. Which I should do while we can guard. However, if we do it with the Lloyd A, we get a 
better attack off and he's currently guarding so seven damage in return we're bleeding because he inflicts bleed on attack but that's okay we could then get Biomphus back in the lead um but first we're going to reckless attack that'll be the last time we want to attack with you then we're going to rotate you take some bleed damage unfortunate but what are you going to do I'm going to hit you again, which is a little dicey because we could end up killing you here soon, but ah, whatever. Poison, just not Lenago. Okay, thank you. We're not going to rotate because that would be bad news for us. So we're going to break this attack while we can. Then see if you rotate. You do. Take a little bit of damage. Take a little bit of damage. Rotate again. Take some more damage. And then we'll not go die to poison. And Shrizzle takes some poison damage. Okay. All right. Looking decent. The boss wants to swap, which is great because we have all this bleed applied. And speaking of which, I'm going to hit Deloid B to apply more poison and bleed. Hopefully. Nice. Poison sack on Shrizzly's big. And we get to do a ranged attack. I could rotate to Deloid A. But first, he wants to do some damage, so I'm just going to use his attack first. Then we're going to actually end up killing Chisley because of the five bleed, because they're going to rotate twice. So Chisley's going to rotate. Take five damage, then we're going to rotate him again. Chisley takes five damage. Chisley is all that is left. And now I want to do as much damage as possible. So... I'm going to rotate us to Deloitte A, who will take one damage from bleed, but that's okay. You're doing great, buddy. We're going to range attack for seven damage. And then could reroll this. I mean, might as well. I don't really want to use that anyway. Okay. We'll rotate back so that Bianf is in the lead. Deloitte's down to one HP, but... He's fine. He applies more bleed, which doesn't matter because he can't rotate anymore, but. Idle, idle, and clash attack. So we'll clash so we don't take damage. We still get blood, but that's okay. We can now activate one. So we are going to activate the Lloyd. Who now, since he has activation, I assume... Oh, I I think it might have triggered automatically. I wasn't paying attention. I think it triggered automatically. Uh, I'm going to hurt our own friend to increase the poison and the bleed. Then I'm going to range attack. Uh, reckless attack. And then we'll just let the poison do its trick. And world boss one done. I've never struggled that much on the first world boss, so this doesn't bode well. Hopefully our build comes online later. We find some Chimera. Now because we beat the boss, we had uh, equipment. He seemed to be like boss equipment or whatever. So this just gives somebody plus three intelligence. This, if KO'd, gains one strength forever. Not bad, it's just not easy to res people, so... Um, and lastly, plus five strength. However, when they attack, they inflict incapacitated. So essentially they'll only get to attack once a turn. Uh, not bad, actually. If we put this on somebody who doesn't want to attack, for instance, like Deloid, Deloid A, because he would have 12 attacks. So we would apply 12 poison. Uh, if we end up getting somebody who likes intelligence, that'll be unfortunate, but whatever. I'm actually going to change. So it's sort of something like this. We get full healed now, though. And we move on to the second biome. Hope you guys are seeing it. Understanding uh, the potential here and why I'm addicted. It's simple. It's fun. You get to collect chimeras. 
Who's going to complain? There's a stone hand. I don't remember what this is. We get to choose cursed equipment. Once equipped, cannot be unequipped. However, on equip, this chimera will gain between zero and eight strength at random. On equip, revives and or fully heals the whole team. That's interesting. Or, oh, oh. Okay, I'm going to do this one. The next chimera to appear in a shrine will be iridescent. These are probably better for the run. But this means the next one we find in the shrine is shiny. Now, I say that this isn't as helpful because maybe that chimera we find isn't the one we want. But I'm just going to take it because it's iridescent. Just show you guys. Uh, and that's fun. So we're going to choose Ring of Pride. And I'm going to put it on the one we're about to get rid of, which would be Deloitte B. Uh, so we get the bonus, but then the next Chimera, we're, we're just going to replace him. So it all works out. So let's go ahead and battle. Now, I actually just unlocked the Desert Biome. I've never been here. So like these Chimera will be new for me. So Whiskero. When they get KO'd, it grants its strength to its allies for the rest of the battle. Don't love that. And Mermillion, when they're attacked, once per turn, inflicts three bleed on all opponents. Hey, yo, why, why are they kind of really good? I guess we don't want to rotate if we can help it. I'm going to ranged attack... I want to hit Deloitte A. Because he'll do 12. Ah, screw it. We're hitting Deloitte A, even though I'm about to get rid of Deloitte B, but he'll give somebody 12 poison. And actually, it's probably better him, because uh, poison won't activate his attack. Uh, so we're pretty much forced to hurt ourselves. So, I'm going to put up Deloitte B. Because one, I'll make them clash with each other. Which will then give bleed. And I'm going to trip myself. Give more bleed. Then I'm going to trip myself again. And inflict more bleed. And then I'm going to uh, freely rotate to Deloitte A to get a 12 attack hit in. And end our turn. Poison will put that at half health. So he wants to clash attack. But we can kill. So I'm going to ranged. If it dies, I don't know if it applies its bleed. It might. It doesn't. Okay, well that's nice. But that's not nice. I can't... Uh, can't attack again. I forgot about our mallet thing. And these are trip. So, oh yeah, and then I can't clash back. So we have to hope this rolls to a rotate, which odds are it should. Okay, sweet. Which now means I can do that without having to take the extra damage. Bada bing, bada boom. Victory! That 12 poison was not... Now we're going direct to the Chimera Shrine because, like I said, screw it, we're taking whatever this is. Look at that dude! I'm going to assume he's normally white. That's cool. So, Gombos Iridescent. Now, normally their, al their ability would have been Ally Hurt. Grants one strength to the ally that got hurt for the rest of the battle. Cool. But now, Ally Hurt grants two strength to the ally that got hurt for the rest of the turn. And, oh, 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 oh. Wait, interesting. So this is for the rest of the turn. But you can upgrade it with intelligence. Funnily enough, I actually would have preferred the first one. Huh. I said we would take the next, the next one, right? I don't love them. It's... Uh, like in most cases, yeah, his upgraded ability would be, but not for us. Because we don't want Deloitte necessarily to come up and attack. 
We're just trying to get him to get nothing. Whatever, like I said, we're uh we're we're, we're taking him. Ah, whatever, I'm sure it'll be fine. They should, they have six attack two and stuff, so they can do their own their own shindig. Uh but see, here's something cool. We can give him this cursed equipment. So now he's four intelligence, so four strength. That's nothing to scoff at. Uh, probably give you the activation. And then the next Chimera stones, statues, whatever we find, will actually just give us gold. Now we can get another equipment slot. Who do we want to give it to? Maybe Gombos? I mean, we could give it to Deloitte A, but we're eventually going to get rid of Deloitte A. So either Gombos or Biamphus, but currently they don't have... We don't have equipment to, like, help them. I probably should have waited until we found a store or something. Uh, We'll just gamba that Gambos can do something. All right. Uh, let's give somebody... Ooh, we found two. So grants plus one strength to the Chimera of our choice. Which is unfortunate. Because again... We're not going to hold on to Deloitte A forever. But that's pretty good for now. I think instead we're just going to give Gambos some upgrades if they ever need to attack. Um, yeah. Because again, we don't want our snake guy to be doing more damage to our own. What do we have here? Griff Ombre. Deals five damage to its allies when it attacks. I like that. When an ally attacks, grants two thorns to random ally. I don't love that. And then Mermelion. Oh. Once per turn, when it gets... Okay, well this deals five... It doesn't attack its allies. I don't think it should activate them. If it does, wow, that sucks. Well, let's start off with hitting Deloid. Who now has 16 attack. We hit Marmillion with the poison, which is pretty good. I could rotate to Deloid. Get him one attack off. Uh... Probably do that. And. Oh, but clash attack will actually mean I use up my attack. And then he's so weak. It is tough. We should have 16 damage in here. So I'm thinking we just like hit Caractal. Now that we're incapacitated, we're just going to rotate to Gambos, who will take an attack for us. Or we could get Caractal up here. His ability wouldn't activate. And we would actually knock it out. Okay, I think we're going to do that. So we knock it Caractal. This ends up taking six damage because of all that. One of their minions is taunted, so we have to fight Mermillion next. And then I'm going to actually rotate to Biophis. And end our turn. Poison kills next turn. So we want to hope that... Well, he has to rotate. I guess it wouldn't... I guess it'd be fine if he attacks. He rotates. Sure. Why not? He's going to rotate again. However, Bleed will kill. They don't have an attack, so Griffombre is just sitting here, ready to die. I'm going to activ activate this, who should do 8 damage. Yeah, so it activates immediately. Okay. Good to know. I want to reroll the Reckless attack. 
Although we could get Deloitte. Deloitte A up there, but then we might not be able to get him out. Um. Great. Yeah, we'll wreck this deck. And then. I can't re roll that die. Uh. Okay, so we don't want to do any of that. So we pass. Mirror means uh, they just repeat whatever the dice before them was. So we can try and um, bone them, so to speak. So like in this case, if I were to rotate, there's nothing for them to do. We don't need to, though, though. I can just one shot them. We're at 95, 100 gold. This gold equipment thing we got is insane. I've, I've never had this much money. We get a lightly heal the Chimera of our choice. I'm going to go with uh, Deloitte because we keep hitting him. He's a trooper. Let's pick up some goodies. So we got 13 gold and then revive or lightly heal the Chimera of our choice. He's missing three. He's missing five. Let's heal Gumbos. We're not going to go to the bonfire yet. The brew tree gives us fruit that, um, as you'll see here, at battle start, it gives the opponent some sort of an advantage, usually. So this one grants leech to the opposing leader, which, uh, after an after attacking, an affected chimera heals itself for an amount of HP equal to the damage it dealt. So why do we want to do that? Well, because at the end of the battle, the user then eats the berry, and in this case, we'll get 8 max HP. This one inflicts flir frozen on our whole team, so the first damage each one of them takes will be doubled. But that person will get an equipment slot. And this one inflicts entangle on every ally. But at battle end, plus two intelligence forever. You know, I kind of like all these. I think I'm leaning towards another equipment or plus two intelligence. You know, in this case, Gombos would grant six strength. Um, and I quite like that. A plus one equipment slot. Also big. But you know what? Yeah, let's go Fruit of Order. And we're going to put that on Gombos. For the first time anybody tries to move this next battle, we'll fail, but that's right. Oh, look at the dude. Pimborius. Pimborius. Enter the lead. The opposing team rotates in a random direction. So when he rotates out and then rotates in, every single time he rotates back into the lead, that's going to happen. And then, of course, Vermillion inflicts bleed on all of us when he's attacked. So we are entangled on Luckers, but we can already activate his item, which does 8 damage. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit Deloid, activating bleed and poison, ideally on the Vermillion. All right. That's okay, though. Um, we'll rotate once, which, uh, will fail because of our entanglement. And then I'm going to guard by Amphis because he's going to clash attack us, do three damage back. I'm going to... Do three damage to Pemborius. Not great, but that's okay. They're going to rotate. He'll take a little bit of bleed damage. And we'll end up doing it. The poison will end up killing you here soon. So we, he will be forced to attack once this turn. And when we hit him back, we're all going to get bleed. And something like a reckless attack here isn't great. Uh... I'm going to guard Deloid. I was hoping we get a reroll. I'm going to hope we get Archer. We did. I'm going to hit Deloid. He won't apply the bleed, but he will apply the poison. to Mermelion, which is what we like to see. Um, and then I'm going to rotate to... Um... Uh, that's a good question. 
Actually, I'm going to rotate to Deloid. Then I'm going to Mirror because they'll be forced to rotate. He's going to make us rotate. I thought that would... Okay, so that goes through Entanglement. Interesting. Did not think that's how that was going to work. But... Um, I just hate that. Eh, it should be all right. Okay, so he's going to clash. I just don't like to activate the bleed. But as long as we don't rotate, we won't take damage. So, in turn, plus he'll die and he has 2 HP. Yeah, we're, we're fine. I can attack with literally anything. I got no attacks. That's incredible. So, I'm going to reroll this. There we go. A GG. GG, Nori. I could also use this charge token to give him intelligence. But now he's up to six. Uh, we can lightly heal Chimera. So let's heal up Lloyd. This isn't going terribly. Let's see what we get from the shrine. 10 gold. Lightly heals the whole team. And we can't even do anything with this. Maybe could have held off on that. We'll head into the elite battle. I want to save something like the bonfire. Uh, for after an elite battle in case we need to heal. Although we could go here first, see if there's stuff we want to buy. Because we haven't found any of the, like, the merchants yet. Alright. We'll get Griff on Brave. He's attacking. It's going to be hurting all of his homies. We ideally want Whiskero to die last so he doesn't grant his strength to anybody else. But we're going to start off by hitting, you know it, Deloid. And poisoning Griffombre. All right, we like that. He now has 18 attack. Which means I could very easily rotate over there and do a whole bunch of damage. But first... Uh, we're going to rotate over to Gambos. Because he's going to clash attack us. And I want him to take the damage. He's going to hurt his own team. Then we're going to swap over to Deloid. Because he gets a one-time attack. For 18. That's pretty good. And we're going to swap back to Biomphys. Who we will... Uh, should we guard him or Deloid for another attack? We might not need to, though. Uh, I'll guard my emphasis. In turn, poison will be cooking that Griffombre. He actually just dies next turn. Uh, we can random rotate and just hope it rotates to Whiskero. That would be best case. That's not guaranteed, though. Um, I'm going to reroll this because I don't want to hurt ourselves. All right, it's going to go to Whiskero. It didn't go to Whiskero. Well, you live and learn. In which case, we're just going to clash attack. You'll kill your homie. You'll also die to poison. So Whiskero will be the last one left. Uh, so hopefully this goes to Archer. It did not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Interesting. Hopefully we're scare of taunts. Oh wait, that's big. Because now uh, I rotate to Deloid, and even though we're supposed to attack him, it'll go to the taunt. So actually, Wiscaro's dead, and we end the turn, and Griffomber dies to poison. And this one last turn that takes away a gold. Easy peasy. We get another token. Which I need to use those because you can only have five. We get more gold. Again, give me somewhere to spend this money. Here we go. Dice Smith. Now, starting with the second world, you'll see this. We now get to buy another dice. So we can get a mechanical die, a die that doesn't roll randomly. Uh, which just means, let's say it lands on the left die face, the pain or whatever, the skull. It means the next roll, it's always going to go one to the right. So wherever it begins, you know exactly what it's going to become. So we'll get this and probably just apply a whole bunch of die face to it. We're going to buy that. 
Then we got lots of activations, which I will like. Um, put a uh, activation here and probably yeah. Oh, I only got one. Oh, it's because I need to buy the other. I put that one there. Then we get reroll. I put one there. That one there. Nah, sir. That's a big boon for us, Captain. That wouldn't be a bad time to do the elite battle. Um. Yeah, let's do it. Could wait to go find like the shop, the black market, but. All right, so the Kakutar, which again, uh, when it gets hurt, it grants a thorn to the ally leader. So we could end up hurting ourselves a bunch. Now we landed on activate one, which means we'll then get reroll, reroll, activate. But that's not too shabby. We might just end up having to hurt ourselves here. They rolled two clash attacks. Not great. If we manage to shift to the Griffombre, that wouldn't be bad. He'd do 10 damage to his team. And, but that would activate a whole bunch of thorns for this dude. I'm waiting on the activation to see what we do because that won't proc thorns. Because we'll hit him once and then he'll have activated thorns once. Um, I'm going to trip. Unfortunate. That's what I was looking for, though. Range attack. So we're going to wait. What the fudge? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, that is an interesting. OK, I didn't think about that. Activating pain on ourselves actually is pretty deep. OK, well, first off, actually, I didn't think about it. Wait. Oh, that applies to the leader. Oh, fuck. I need to get Gombos in the leader before I activate it. Okay, whatever. Um, but now, like, nine attacks, so I do not want to hit the Lloyd. So that's not I ideal. Um, okay, well, I'm going to range attack. Uh, let's see where we rotate to. Was hoping for a Griffon, right? Okay. Classic, classic. Um, then, yeah, I'm going to range attack Griffon, right? Um, we'll clash attack, but we'll get hurt by thorns this next time, which isn't a huge deal. We actually one shot this dude now, anyway. We'd. Oh, yeah. I, did. I didn't even think about how much this could stack. We're at 21 damage. Okay, so that's 27. Oh, because oh, because the thorn was his... Oh, sheesh. Hold up. Let him cook. Um, Let's... Reckless attack. Pretty good. Unfortunately, we can't attack again. Um, But I'm going to rotate to Gombos. Because I want to give him this extra intelligence. And then we're going to act. Uh, yeah, activate for eight damage. And then we're going to rotate to the Lloyd, who will do all damage. And that's the turn. That's a pretty good turn. So they have mirror, rotate, and damage. And if you're curious, so. Energy shock isn't an attack. It doesn't proc like hurt and stuff. It just does the, your strength damage to the other person. It'll just do five damage. It doesn't it doesn't apply any like buffs or debuffs essentially. Um, we could kill Deloitte here. Let's see why not. And then. Probably rotate to Gombos. 
He'll take the damage, get a buff, and then he can just start whacking away. Uh, so he'll take the energy shock. Oh, ally hurt. Oh, oh no, no, I'm Papega. Right. Okay, not my friend. Okay, well then I'm gonna reckless attack. Wait. What did I just do? Watch, what was the dice I just used? Because I can get him to mirror it. Oh god, I don't remember. I could trip, but I, I don't really. I'm gonna re-roll trip. Okay, we gotta activate. Isn't bad, I guess. Uh, okay, reckless attack. Then I'm gonna activate you. And I am curious if I mirror. Okay, I was wondering if I could activate myself. I can't, but that would have been cool. Uh, he can make no more attack, actually. Just don't ever rotate. Okay. All right, we're just going to rotate to the Lloyd because we can give him guard and then he can range attack, kill it, not take damage. All right. Not bad, not bad, not bad. And that was the elite, right? We did all right. More quantic beans. Come on, man. Sure. Uh, but we get two mirrors, which I like. Being able to repeat the last thing we did. Um, I'm probably going to replace some rerolls. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ye. Alright, move on. I want to save the campfire before the boss. We got Pimborius and Whiskero. Um. Okay, yeah, we can start with an activation. On. Ah, fudge. Wait, I think the Quantic Beans actually upgraded Biamphus' attack. I guess it is a 50-50. That's not really worth it then, is it? But whatever. Uh, activate for 8 damage. Oh, and then I can do it again. We get a ranged attack. So I could hit the Lloyd. Although we might not even need to hurt ourselves. We could possibly avoid all that. Just well, somebody's got to take a clash attack. What if I go here, then rotate to Deloitte A? They'll clash, and he's dead. Uh, let's rotate to Gambos because this could be an attack. I hope not. Of course it is. And I don't want to trip, so we're going to end my turn. He wants to clash attack. What is this? Or get any Chimera. It's team rotates to make it leader. Okay, okay. Well, we need to do more damage than that. Hold on. I'm going to do this. And then we got another attack. So I'm going to get Deloitte A up here. And we'll go. Alright. We didn't have to take any more damage. Fine with that. I got to take the beans. Oh my god. Oh wait. Beans increased in intelligence. Bro, you don't use intelligence. Why? <coughs> what is he doing? Alright, whatever. I'm taking this off you. Before you troll us. I'll give you more at max HP. We'll just give you more damage against bosses for now. 
Somebody gets to lightly heal. Probably Lloyd for now, because we like to attack him. Man, that plus one is strength, though, actually. Really sucks. Okay, maybe we get a cool scroll master here. What do we see? Okay. If this is who I think it is, yes. So, if you're wondering what mana does when a chimera has a spell for an ability. So, spell, target, an opponent, and inflicts frozen. Frozen just means the next attack against that person does double damage, and then frozen gets removed. A spell takes one mana, and you can use their spell once a turn, so he has three mana. So three times during the fight, you can freeze their leader. Actually pretty good if you have big swinging attacks. We don't really, though. Oh, I, I don't think we buy it. It's why it's Gamble, like... If you manage to find something that goes with your build, but usually it's just chimeras that don't really. All right, we found cursed equipment though. If there's no more dice, I think for everybody, you one damage to all opponents up to six times. Interesting. Or a traveler's backpack. On equip, you get an equipment slot, but you minus two strength forever. Wait. Wait. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. I was actually so hyped. But... It can't be unequipped. So essentially, you use an equipment slot to get an equipment slot. I was about to throw this on Biamphus and then unequip it. Because less strength on Biamphus would have been a good thing. But it's cursed, but it can't be unequipped. Like what? It doesn't. But I dice fra. I like, dice fragment. It is. Uh. I'll do this. I guess. <laughs> A traveler. Hey there, traveler. I can give him 10 gold to get max HP increasing equipment or give 8 gold to gain healing equipment. Get some healing equipment, huh? On spawn grants two region to a random ally three times. Excuse me, that seems pretty good. Yo, we got the 112. Um... Well, somebody needs to wield. Okay, I think I'm just gonna do this because the beans such a small chance to activate. Beans, what? We found a thrift shop. What do you got? Oh, these are breakable. So if I KO, if I, if the the Chimera wearing this gets KO'd, it's gone. On spawn, so when the battle starts, grants plus one activation to its whole team and heals them by three HP. Unfortunately, we only have one activation uh, thing. That'd be real cool. Attack, great chance. So a 50% chance of gaining one gold. Or when hurt, deals two damage to all opponents. You know, we're talking. That could definitely synergize. We need more equipment slots. Target a KO'd ally Chimera rev revives it and fully heals. I'm gonna buy that. And this fine powder is tempting. But there's nobody to put it on yet, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't buy it. I think I'm gonna get rid of one of the beans. I'm gonna use. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna grab fine powder. Healing everybody for three. That's real nice. I'm just gonna. Oh, I'm so stupid. I just threw it on because I'm like, oh, I'll just. It's cursed. He's unable to equip that. 
And I don't want to take the mallet away because that's where all of our poison's coming from. Oh. And if I take that away, activation doesn't do anything. This is giving us so much gold. I don't want to take that away. Malka, hmm. Well, if I'm able to keep everybody topped off, that means I could use the campfire for, like, stats or an equipment slot. So screw it, we'll try it. Uh, oh, well. We're about to fight the boss. So. Okay, so the next battle is the boss. I, important to keep that in mind. In which case, what are we, what are we going to do? Uh, maybe we don't care that much about region then. What's one or the other? Everyone gets healed through HP or somebody's going to regen a good bit because it gives you six and it goes down every turn. Yeah, swap that. Ninja Caltrops will be really good too. Uh, actually, we're not going to give everybody stats, yeah, because that would give him plus. Right. So... Does that mean I'm going to give him a, an equipment slot? Or we're going to get rid of him? That's no fun. Probably. I mean, we could just heal everybody. I just, if his strength increases, that really hurts us. Plus one equipment slot. Only problem is, like, you don't want Ninja Caltrops. Although, let's just give you another one. You'll give everybody activation plus three each. This gives somebody 50% extra damage. But... I don't know if that's worth it on anybody. We don't do a lot of, like, just direct damage. I mean, he could obviously bump some people up, like Deloid. Because, I mean, like, even without this 7, it would add 7. So he's 14. And that means he's doing 21 with an attack. And he doesn't get incapacitated. We could try that, I guess. But then... We're doing less poison damage. So what do we think is going to carry us more? Poison or... Uh, we're going poison. Hasn't failed us yet. Obviously it won't start to. Alright, on to the boss. Come on now. I don't know what this is. Or really what any of these are. Exol. When at... Everything's activating, Pog. Oh, and... Oh, that's actually a great split for region. Um, when at half health, grants two intelligence to its allies. When at half health, grants two strength to its allies. And, if not in the lead, heals four HP to the leader at the end of a turn. Oh, oh, I just realized that it's like two bosses. Oh, so you have to kill both of them. Well, that's new. So what is this? Without attacking, leader deals its strength damage to the opposing leader. Um, boss either attacks or turn in a... Yes, yeah, so there's two boss dice. I don't love that. In random rotation. Um, okay. So he could trip. Actually, he could trip twice. This is when I would have preferred that boss slaying thing, but... Alright, we're gonna hit Deloitte to start off. 
And hopefully hit one of the bosses with the poison. Okay. Then we... Let's see, trip then goes to activation. So... Did I wait to... Oh, that's not who I want to rotate to. Hmm. This could become another rotation, and I have to hope it does. Come on! Okay, pause. So we're going to go to Deloid, who is going to trip, activate Bleed, and then activate Gambos. He's going to trip, do it again. Now he's 33 strength. Uh, and he gets one attack in. So we're going to make it count. Uh, totally forgot, though, that I should have had him attack. Or somebody else take an attack for him. Because uh, this is random. Gamba. Okay, they rotate. We like that. So he's going to do five strength damage to us. Or I could re-roll this. And maybe it hits idle. Or clash attack. Unfortunate, because we don't actually hit back. Although a random rotation could put Petrocell in the front, and then he would attack. Everybody says? Aha! Oh, wait, no. It's the boss dice, so he's always going to... Never mind. Whatever, at least he doesn't heal somebody. We need you to stay alive, buddy. Oh, and then we used all of our dice. So yeah, we uh, we have the thing that does up to six damage to all opponents. Then 11 damage to you. So he sits idle. We like that. I'm going to go ahead and use that. He's going to Clash Attack. Not that. We got to activate. Uh, let's... I'm going to Grand. We definitely want to kill Exile first, so... I was hoping Exile went to the lead. Of course he didn't, but that's okay. Who's going to clap back? And, you know, why not? Because it will activate that. Uh, oh, but it didn't. Okay, whatever. We're going to swap. Now the small problem is we can't hurt Deloitte. Wait, wait, wait. Heals. Target a Chimera. Okay. We're going to heal Deloitte for 50% so that I can range attack. Hit him to activate. Poison on... Nah. Going for Exog, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to activate Gambos for a damage. We're going to trip to get some extra attack. I could re-roll this for an activation, but... Uh... Actually, I might as well. Okay. Because I want to use all the dice anyway. So I'm going to Reckless Attack. Then we're going to rotate to Gambos. And then we'll do up to six damage to everybody. We only did one. All right. Well, that's sad, but... The good news is, Exile has enough poison that he will die in like yeah, two turns. What is this? Inflicts an amount of confusion equal to ally leader's strength and confusion. So five stacks of confusion. Every time it attacks, an effective chimera takes an amount of damage equal to confusion value. Well, don't love that. We could confuse them back, though. 
Interesting, because we have the mirror, which lets us use their dice too. It's not a bad idea. Here. Ooh, I was really hoping we got a rotation. All right, well, I'm gonna hurt myself. Apply bleed to you, okay? But extra strength. I'm gonna trip myself again because I'm trying to get as much strength as possible. We got ranged attack, okay? But no, I don't want. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to have him confuse me, but then I'm going to mirror, and he has 26 stacks of confusion. So now every time he attacks, he takes 26 damage. So he's like practically dead. Unfortunately, energy shock does not count as an attack, but clash attack would, would work. So I'm going to use my one attack. Um, to hit oh but right I can't rotate oh I think Deloitte's just dead yeah I think Deloitte do be dead uh that's alright it's the boss battle you know we'll we'll manage alright so he gave everybody else strength Definitely annoying, but you're almost dead. And literally, if you attack me. Oh, which I should have done that before. Whoops. Uh, I'm going to range attack so that poison kills him this turn. And then. We're so close to killing him. Uh. Actually, I, I can... Uh, he might die. I don't know. Do that. Then you get to shock me. But it doesn't count for confusion on Fort. He dies to poison. Better sell almost well. I'd like to kill him too, because then we just get a little extra gold. So he'll either attack or rotate. I want to reroll this so he hurts himself. But... Um. All right, we got mirror. Doesn't really help. Reroll will turn into activation. I want to reroll this because I want. To... Well, actually, I'll just trip myself. Yeah, that's not what I was. Let's re roll this for. Okay. I mean, I can kill him, but. Let's hope he rotates. Nice. Because. Now I just attack here. We get three extra gold. Not that much, but hey. Um, and now he just hits, and then we mirror, and we kill him. All right, we defeated Exog and Exol, and we killed all of them. Again, it's only a matter of three gold, but now we get another boss uh, equipment. Passive heals received by the items holder provide 50% more HP, plus 20 max HP. Once per battle, however, self-inflict one damage. That's just kind of like free 20 HP because you'd have to play 20 battles to lose the max. Oh, that's not bad. On spawn, attacks the most vulnerable opponent once. 
feel like that could be cool, but that's not really what our build's going for. Like, at all. Maybe we just get this max HP one, because we'll give it to somebody... Whoever's replacing Deloitte needs to be able to take a lot of damage, you know? We'll do that. Okay, the last world. Everybody's healed and revived. We found an ancient chest, which gave us a breakable equipment vortex. At the end of a turn, once per battle, the item holder is automatically KO'd. Then revives and heals a random amount of HP. Interesting. I'm sure there's equipment, and I think we found some, where it's like, if KO'd, do this. Hmm. Interesting. Or if like somebody's already really close to death and you throw it on for battle. I'm getting rid of the quantum beans. We need to look at what chimeras we're cooking though, so let's go this way. We need to figure out what our third chimera is going to be. Ooh, er Okay. No effect, so he's just a big boy. Big attack. Gyal, Gyal, whatever. New leader gains guard when they exit. And Spindle, if he enters the lead, if the health isn't full, he gains focus, which is essentially like one crit. One double damage. Okay. I will say, of all the runs I've done, this one is the most mentally intensive. Like, it's less ungabunga. I also say, it seems like I'm opening my mouth less and less. It is. My jaw's starting to hurt again. You know much about it. Since last surgery, it's been eight months or something. And the whole point is, it was like a temporary surgery. It wasn't. A, it wasn't. It can't be a permanent fix until this next surgery. And unfortunately, I think it's starting to wear off. Your boy's in pain. But we're getting through this run by golly gee. I'm not letting our shiny gumbos down. Speaking of which, let's activate gumbos. Throw that fatty eight damage. We could trip ourselves. Here uh I want to be able to activate Deloitte here. Oh, great. So we'll hit Deloitte. That'll be 12 poison to Svendle, which is unfortunate because he'll enter critting us, but um, I'm going to trip myself. Gain more attack. And I got to snipe somebody. Or you just snipe more Scipion. We'll hit for 10. We, we could possibly get Geol or whatever the fudge. I guess hope for that. Nice, because then only 5 damage. Gonna use their idle because then if we rotate and use our next one, we'll do up to 6 damage to everybody. One. Two, just two. Okay, this removes all the buffs on me. Which would be our one healing. Don't love that. Um. I think we're going to range attack Deloid. Hopefully poison Svendal again. Pog. Then I could mirror for another raged attack. Um, I think first we'll clash. Let's see. I'm going to hit you for 11. Then I'm going to mirror. 
Hit you for 11. We got another mirror. Okay. Um, hit you. And we'll rotate to Gambos. And then get rid of buffs, but we're Gucci. And unfortunately, he'll leave. Uh, and that gives somebody guard because we have to random rotate, but not really any other option. Uh, I'm going to swap to make the Lloyd leader. And then we're going to rotate back. Then they're going to randomly rotate, and then we're going to do six damage. Oh, but the guard should have immediately gotten broken, and hopefully one more. All right, Morsipian's dead. And then with this poison, Svindle will be dead next turn. All we got to take care of is Geol. Um, okay, let's... Range attack. Well... Could just nah. Just don't poison the Svendel. Poison the Okay. Maybe that's what I was no. That's okay. It's fine. Why everything's trip, man. Um Reroll this one. It's another trip. Okay. Reroll this one. I read the swap. Okay, so I'll have him attack me. That puts us up to 26. Uh, and then I'm going to trip myself. That should actually put me to enough. Yes. A reckless attack. Then he'll have 2 HP left. So all I need to do is activate... My thing, because all dice are used, and hit twice, means we lose one less gold. Isn't again, it's min max, and we get another seven. And I was also damaging him so much because we're gonna find two new chimera, and one of them most likely is replacing our good or fella who's tried his hardest, Deloid. We got Shamri, huh? A lot of HP. Attacked. Rants guard to a random ally. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm not sold yet. Let's see what the other one is. What do we got? Oh, it's that dude. Holy 14 attack. Grifombre. Attack, deal three damage to its allies. We do not want it to have high intelligence. Now, see, this would be really good for poison. Because he, he's given us 14 to boot. It's just he doesn't have a hurt ability, unfortunately. Like, hitting, like, because the Deloitte hitting him also gives us inflict three bleed however we could give him ninja caltrops so always dealing two damage hmm that or shamri we could see what the third one is but through it oh i need to get rid of an equipment He comes with three equipment slots. So what are we going to do? I think I'm going to give him Toy Mallet. Ninja Caltrops. By Blood Bread? Yes, we're probably not doing Vortex. I'll discard that so I can move that. Recruit. Ta-da! 19. Ninja Caltrops. And a whole bunch more HP. Alright, well this will be the, the team. Hopefully. Hopefully it works out. Now, there's one additional die we could buy. And it's the same one where it rolls in order. 60 gold, but we're 100% getting it. Like, I, I've never had this much gold. 
Uh, so we can get guard, activation, or rerolls. Unfortunately, none of these are great die bases. I think we will add one activation. Then we're going to sit on the rest for the black market or whatever and, and see if there's something we want there. If not, we'll come back. Oh, we already got activation. That means this dude's going to activate three times. Let's go. We'll give him more regen. More regen. Nice. All right, what does this guy do? On spawn, inflict sleep on a random opponent. Uh, so they can't attack, and they have to be attacked in order to wake up. Well, guess what? I want to attack my dude. So joke's on you. And again, this guy's no ability. Um, so let's activate... And we'll activate again. Is he enough? Then, do I want to start tripping? I don't think so. What I want is an arrow. But if I trip, then I'm going to kill her even more. And he needs to be attacked. He only gets one attack. Okay, whatever. Uh, we'll make him trip. Oh, and but that ends up hurting all them. Okay, okay, okay. Not bad. But he'll do 33 damage in return. They're already taking a lot of damage, though. Jesus. The cause, I guess, or something. Oh, and then that hurts all of us. Maybe not the best. Okay, chill. Holy Jesus. Well, I wasn't incapacitated. I don't know. Maybe I... Maybe I take the mallet off. But the mallet's not worth it. Because we didn't even activate... Because if he could keep attacking, holy, we'd be sweeping. But yeah, maybe that's what we do. Oh, this is uh, not an attack. Of course. Do some moderate amount of damage. Alright. Unfortunately, I don't know how we... Get through this next one without... How much do you add? Seven. Oh. Well, that would be enough. But then you hurt the rest of our team. What if instead... Why do you gotta rotate like that? if you just didn't? Okay, let me rotate the gombos. Heck yeah, brother. Okay. Wait, but he doesn't... Eh, whatever. Okay, I just get to mirror the attack. Mirror the attack. Uh, use that, use that. Reroll this. Use that, use that, and then we'll do, hopefully, uh, well, that won't do anything, but, uh, yeah, yeah. Wanted to use all the dice. Everyone took a lot of damage that fight. Oh, but everybody gets lightly healed. Screw it. Now it's not that bad. Easy. Find a wandering hero. How can I help you? Give a piece of equipment and receive a random piece of equipment. Or give a piece of equipment and receive a random amount of gold. Give him a piece of equipment. What do we want to give him? Maybe this one? Extra HP? We got Wired Bat. Plus one strength. And every time attack inflicts three bleed on the target. See, like, maybe we just do that instead of the mallet. 
think so. All right, we got some gold and a way to heal. Then we can give somebody extra equipment. I'm actually going to give it to him, who can do more damage to bosses now, too. Now we got to find the boss. If we're ready to take him, I'm feeling pretty good. Everybody heals a little bit. We activate. He'll be fully healed. It's just that easy. I also get to start off activating his poison everything. Pog. See, it's starting to come together, though. We, we hit one of our dudes and suddenly everything starts procking. You're taking 15. Gambos is asleep, which is totally fine. I don't intend to attack with you. Uh, now we rotate to Rafon Bray, who's going to trip and hurt himself. <laughs> oh, you're so silly. Uh, and then... They're going to freeze me, which means one attack's going to be a double hit. I don't like that. I get to re-roll something. Maybe re-roll. I'm going to re-roll the re-roll. I don't know if that was worth it. That would put him at 36. Not quite enough. Well, he's going to get hit one way or another. How is he just not able to attack more? Uh, then we'll hit him so poison kills you next turn. And everybody gets hurt. Unfortunately. If only we had one more attack. I'd be hitting for 40. Like, it. I should, but somehow. I don't want to use all my dice. Not worth it. Alright, well, just this dude. Who, from the looks of it, is going to do nothing. He missed. Pog. So now we can do whatever we want. We'll activate. And then... We're going to make you the leader. We're going to hit him. Oh, he was frozen, so he takes double damage. Maybe that wasn't the best. Uh, but now we just win. Range attack. Oh, but we hurt ourselves. <sighs> whatever. We heal a decent bit at the start. I mean, you know, what? whatever. I'm actually not going to attack because we'll get a little more healing out of it and he's going to die to poison anyway. Just, you know, just that, just that little bit. It could, it could matter. Be the difference maker. All right. You could get brood berries, which is a permanent upgrade, I believe. Grants plus one intelligence. We do not want to give him intelligence. But giving you some is good. And then grants plus one strength. Give that to Griffon Bray. Pog. Found a traveler. How can we help? Give 10 gold. Gain max HP increase in equipment. Or give nine gold. Gain strength increase in equipment. Mm. Strength, Gamba. Attack. Plus two strength for the rest of the turn. Well, what would I actually get rid of for that? It'd be wired bat. It only works if we're able to attack multiple times, but... Although three bleed... That really scaled that well for us. I don't think so. We'll find out later. There's a campfire. Let's see what the shop has. Equipment. Turn if in the lead plus two gold. We have enough gold. It's a little late now. 
KO'd, granted strength to the ally with the most strength for the rest of the battle. Ah. So, like, see, that combined with Vortex would have been really good. But I sold Vortex. Incapacitated, gains plus 12 strength for the rest of the turn. That's weird, because if you're incapacitated, you couldn't attack again. I guess if you had that one dice where, like, you don't attack, but just use your strength stat, but we don't have that. Target, uh, Ally Khmer at full heals. It's a safe bet to say we're probably going to take that. Yeah, I'm just taking that now. Then I'll probably buy those dice for the uh, boss fight when we get there. Gotta be getting close. What do we have here? Marmaragma. Marmaragma. Turn end and flicks two burn on the imposing leader. Give another one to Griffon Break Budge. Okay. Well, this is a good start. We hit Griffon Bray. He gets more powerful. We poison the Marsipian. Then I get a... Activate Gumbus. And then... Uh, let's get you to rotate. Let's get Mar Maragma in the lead here. Then activate again. I guess getting the the ray on this guy would be really good, but he's using all the other items too, so. Uh, we're gonna rotate two Griffombre. And then Let's re-roll this, so hopefully we just get an attack. Really? Why? Every time. It's fine. Um, annoying. Oh. Inflict an amount of burn equal to the ally's leader strength on the opposing leader. I sort of need to just use these anyway, so screw it. 24. Then, God, how did this happen? Just guard. Like, we did. Uh, decent, well. But, like, with all the mirrors, like, there's a decent chance we could attack a whole bunch, and yet. We did not. Well, they rotated. He attacked me, but we blocked it. I'm burned. What the fudge? You're gonna die to poison. Stupid. Um, let's get Marmaragma in the lead. Uh, okay. Fight the opposite of what Oh, what's this? Removes all leaders debuffs. Oh no. That's worst case. What? Okay, please rotate. No, but then you... Uh, we'll probably kill him, right? Um, well, I guess this is happening. Rot rotate to Biamphus. Uh, we'll activate ya, but I don't think that triggers burn. No. Well, you could reckless attack. Okay, and then we get that. Let's rotate to... Grifombre! We get a guard somebody, that's fun. Uh... Galia. Then hope... Geol comes forward. Come on, Geol. Fudge! Because he's just gonna... Rid of his poison. Cringe. Well, let's rotate to Memphis. Give you a shield. 
idle, and then you purify. That way we at least use our dice thing. Oh, purifying the poison is so unlucky. So is this. What are we doing? Get a reckless attack to get rid of the guard. And then Grafombre. Going to... Sure. Wah! Now he gets to hit you. Then you're going to melee me and increase my attack. Oh, wait, no, I didn't get hurt. Okay, well then I'm going to mirror to hit you, which keeps hurting my friends, but whatever. Bellevue. You're going to miss a rotate. That's right. You're going to miss that. And then I'm just going to swap two. And back, so that way we activate the dice, which does three damage. Hey, that's three damage. And as long as we get one more attack, literally any attack. Oh, fuck, but I keep hitting. Forget about that, but whatever. Like I said. Okay, reroll this. There we go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Cancel. I can just rotate you now. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's nice, yeah. it. Then hopefully we find, oh, was it? Glowing heart, passive 10 max HP on spawn. If in the lead, self inflicts plus 10 confusion. No, thanks. Uh, lightly heal a chimera of our choosing. Well, that was more than lightly heal. All right, we found the boss. Oh, and an elite battle, which would give us more die face and equipment. A little risky. However, we just go to the campfire after this and then it doesn't really matter. Also, no telling what like bonus things here if we fought them. I mean, I think our team's looking fine. Maybe. Get rid of that for now. Well, that, that doesn't, no, that doesn't really change anything. Um. To fight the elite or not. No guarantee the equipment's any good, but the die phase could be big. Is this one still missing three faces? Screw it! Probably have to regret it, but what do you do? I'd activate all the things? We just couldn't start with a ranged attack, could we? Or even a mirror. Oh, what the fudge? Yeah, well, he needs to get hit before he does anything. He's a slip. Must be attacked. So I think guard would still wake him up, right? Svendel attack. Yes. Okay. Then. I'm going to attack to activate the poison. Hit some, some the limb. Sure. We're going to leader swap, swap to Griffon Brain. Who never roll. Like, why can't we just roll a normal attack? I don't know. In a trip. And roll relentless, of course. Well, he would clash, almost kill himself, and then we can retaliate. Or nearly uh, death, I do believe. A lot going on. 
Oh, so close. Oh, wait. Yeah, never mind. For Gucci! Okay, we don't want... Nice, actually. Because if they entered, they would have gotten guards. That's fine with me. Then we're going to swap back to Bamfus. And then we're going to... Swap back to Grafambre. And then a little bit of damage. A little bit of chip. Stupid. It can freeze us, which is annoying. But if we attack first... All you do is make me stronger, you fool! Then... Rip myself? I guess. And tri trip again, really? Okay. Be normal. Challenge impossible. Are you about to kill our friends? But that's okay. I know you don't mean it. Whoops. Lord, everybody do be close to dying. Um. Oh, wait. Okay. With the activation, I won't need to be hurting anybody else. Okay. We're probably going to be using that campfire for that heal, but... Emerald Pike attack. If the attack kills, gains focus. And the next attack does double damage. Not bad. We got a guard. Let's throw that on the dice. Is that worth it? Eh, no. But I think we're ready to take on the boss. But first, we're going to... Buy a dice for the map. Um, I don't think I can actually use the... Yeah, it has to be a battle. So I'm going to discard that. Um, before I do anything else, let me see. I'm going to go buy the other dice. I don't know if I can use... I think I could use both during the battle. But yeah, we have two. We don't want anything else here. I'll just go by. I think I can only afford one dice face, but. Well, this gives us two rerolls. Is what? 70. Yeah, we don't know. 76. We're four short. Ah! And we can't, like, sell these. We can only discard them. So we'll go reroll. That way, there's at least something for that dice to do. Um. Let's see. For the boss, is there anything else we want to do? Anything else we want to quit? Maybe, like, get rid of this region? What would you have instead? More HP? And the Emerald Pike is... Tempting. I don't really know. Uh, let's just go heal. Rest up. I think that's important enough and then yeah eh, screw it. we'll just use the region all right i think we're good we still have all of our consumables to use i tried always saving for the last boss so we're just gonna blow everything we got here and we're fighting galvarin rotation so whenever they rotate once per turn grants its allies one strength for the rest of the battle but these guys will slowly start getting big and I think it gets strength too. Whereas these times, every time they rotate, small chance of granting focus to the ally leader. Annoying. Charge. Boss gains intelligence. Oh. The rest. So then it'll be two strength? Oh boy. Okay. 
And of course, it's like, what the fudge is this? Can we... Trip, 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 trip. Trippin, trippin, trip, trip, trippity, trip. Okay, wait, wait. Let me use this dice. And we're gonna use... Oh, I only get to use... Okay. Well, that's fair. Okay, the way this is attack all. Oh my god. We'll try and get Griffon ready to use that. Oh my god. Okay, we'll activate him. Um, Reroll. God. I feel like we gotta reroll Reckless and hope we get the ranged. Bro, we don't. There's not even a rotate. It's just. Please give me a rotation at least. Really? Ow. Ow. Sway. Well, trip myself again. Oh, sweet. Yeah, now I have range attack to hit my Grafabre for 20. So that's not going to happen. I guess I'm tripping it. Oh, whatever. I guess I'm using Biamphis this turn. Um. Guess guard. Range attack onto the Galvarin. But then, I mean, it's still 28 damage to everybody. Nothing to scoff at. We are going to rotate so that their attack is a little less powerful. He's going to charge, which is really annoying. And he gets focus, so double damage. So thankfully I have guard. Okay. And yes, he gains the strength too, naturally. Okay. Wow, would you look at that? I can actually just do this. Now poison the Galvarin. Or the Nutsi. Okay. There. I don't know why I expected anything different. We do have a mirror. Which would have been nice for that. I could still use it for the range attack, but it'd be with Biamphis, so. I can reroll that, though, and Praise. Uh, let's get Grafombre in here. Uh, Energy Shock. We'll gain some extra power. We'll see how much damage we... I think, at the very least, we'll kill all the Nootsies. We're gonna reroll this for rank. Well, that actually got ranged. Uh, rotate to the right. Oh, perfect. He becomes the leader. Then we'll have him charge so that they didn't get the extra power right there. Um, we'll just guard ourselves. Then we're gonna ranged attack. Pause. Any second. And then we're going to mirror. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, sheesh. Hold on. First off, we go ahead and heal everybody. You guys deserve it. And then Lady... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, he's going to live with four health. Yeah, there's nothing I do. It is a Shabuski. And what do you know? It all came together. That was fun because genuinely you had to play to where it's like my team is almost always dead. And that was fun. And we still managed to get it all to come together. And here you see the door that I would mention at the very beginning. Pain Talisman has been brought. So now all I have to do, well, first off, we unlock some new stuff. So now on the map, a shadow chest can appear. There's a new biome, the Snindarian, what the fuck is it? Abyss, Grimlet Mangrove, new enemies can be found, uh, Archive Unlock, we unlocked Crample for the Pain uh, Talisman, as well as Mothless and Namaraja. And that just leaves the Warrior Talisman. If I win a win, win a round with that, I'll be able to unlock the door and then 
whatever trial mode is. Again, I'm not I'm not sure, but assuming it's like a hard mode or like modifiers, rotating, daily challenge. I don't really know. But perhaps if you guys want to see that, we'll do another one. Like I said, my jaw's killing me. But that's dice folk. We got a run in and we won even better with the brand new talisman I hadn't played too as well. Hopefully that all made sense. Hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, I'm pleasantly surprised by this. Uh, a lot of fun. Still so many chimeras. You can see, like, I've probably only seen like half of them. More chimeras to be seen as well as the shinies. Oh, well, that's disappointing. <laughs> so the shiny version of Gambos, uh, instead of red eyes, has yellow. Now, granted, the black spots are like shiny too, which is cool. But I definitely thought they were going to like the negative. That, that definitely has some Pokemon shiny energy where you're like, that's it. But then again, from the others I've seen, they're really cool. Like, I really like that shiny. As well as uh, the Odoragon one. Anyway, with that said, thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic day. I'll talk to you in the next one. Very well.